Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I am Dr. Pallavi Gugoy of Krishna Kanta Handik State Open University. Today I shall take up Unit 6 titled D.H. Lawrence and the poem prescribed for you is Snake. Here we shall discuss life and works of the poet in this particular video that is. So let us quickly begin. The unit is taken from the course General English Semester 1, Block 1. First, I shall begin with the table of contents where I shall be discussing the learning objectives, introduction, followed by a little bit about D.H. Lawrence, the poet, and the life of D.H. Lawrence, as well as the literary works of D.H. Lawrence. Then we shall come to the questions to check your progress, followed by references. Coming to the learning objectives. After going through this video, the learner will be able to gain an insight into the life of the poet D.H. Lawrence and also discuss the literary works of the poet. To provide you with a brief introduction, the present unit introduces the learner to the remarkable 20th century English novelist D.H. Lawrence. D.H. Lawrence is better known as an English novelist, although he excelled in all forms of writings, as is also evident in the wide range and extent of his literary contributions. As a writer, Lawrence was a perfectionist when it came to revising and editing his works for publication. Moreover, he was also an excellent painter who held a lifelong passion for oil painting. Despite the widespread literary criticism and political controversies that Lawrence had confronted during his writing career, eventually his literary worth and credibility had received its due share of recognition, as also highly noted by writers like E.M. Forster and F.R. Lewis. Now, we shall discuss a little bit about the poet D.H. Lawrence. Prior to starting out as a writer, Lawrence wrote poetry and his first poems had been published in the English review titled Dreams Old and Dreams Nascent. Altogether, his poetical output comprised a total of around 800 poems. The range of his literary work includes novels, novellas, short stories, essays, poems, plays and travel narratives as well. To discuss a little bit about the life of J.H. Lawrence, Derek Herbert Richards Lawrence. Yes, that's the full name of the writer. Derek Herbert Richards Lawrence was born to Arthur John Lawrence and Lydia Birdshaw in a humble working class family. He was brought up in the mining town of Eastwood, Nottinghamshire, where his father had served as a coal miner. You can well imagine how difficult and challenging is the life of coal miners who work and extract coal in the gloomy underground tunnels. Thus, the Lawrence family had to work hard in order to meet their needs. As a young boy, Lawrence had seen much trouble in the early part of his life, fragments of which are captured in the best of his literary works. He had received his early education at the Beauville Board School and the Nottingham High School on scholarship. Although he was not really inclined towards studies, his mother had inculcated in him a lifelong love of books, music and literature. After having finished his school education, Lawrence had briefly worked at the Haywoods Surgical Appliances Factory and then joined the British school Eastwood as a pupil teacher. In due course of time, Lawrence went to receive a teaching certificate from the University College of Nottingham. With the sprouting of his literary abilities, he had begun to write and publish some of his early works which comprised poems, short stories and fiction. As a young man who had only started his writing pursuits, Lawrence suffered a huge setback in life when he had lost his mother, with whom he had shared a special bonding. After the publication of his second novel, he had suffered a second bout of pneumonia but had very soon decided to give up teaching in order to pursue his passion for writing. During this phase of his life, he had also eloped with Frida Weekly, who had three children from her first marriage, to Germany. So they had eloped to Germany, where the couple had married later in 1914. Together, they had travelled and spent considerable time in Italy and London, where the couple had also met with the modern short story writer Catherine Mansfield and the Welsh poet W. H. Davis. While in London, he had also met modernist poets Ezra Pound and T.S. Eliot, the names of which you must have heard. 
He was mistakenly charged of being a spy during wartime and this had proved to be a difficult phase for the writer. Further, it had also led him to take voluntary exile from England, which is why the couple had traveled across countries right from Italy to France, Sicily to Germany, Austria to Australia and Mexico to Sri Lanka. Also, these travels had enriched his literary narratives to a great extent. Despite the financial difficulties and sociopolitical challenges in the journey of his life and career, Lawrence continued to write and publish his best works. This brings us to the works of Teach Lawrence. Some of the best works of fiction by Lawrence are namely The White Peacock, The Trespasser, Sons and Lovers, The Rainbow, Woman in Love, The Lost Girl, Aaron's Rod, Kangaroo, The Boy in the Bush, The Plumed Serpent, Lady Chatley's Lover and The Escaped Cock. The anthologies of poetry are titled Love Poems and Others, Amores, Look We Have Come Through, New Poems, Boy, A Book of Poems, Tortoises, Birds, Beasts and Flowers, Pansies and Letters. A few of the widely read short stories of Lawrence are The Captain's Doll, The Fox, The Lady Bird and Order of Chrysanthemums to name a few. His travels across continents are well documented in his travel narratives such as Twilight in Italy and other essays, Sea and Sardinia, Mornings in Mexico and other essays, and sketches of Etruscan places and other Italian essays. This brings us to questions to check your progress, starting with question number one, who was D. H. Lawrence? Question number two, where was D. H. Lawrence raised or brought up? Question number three, what was the role of D. H. Lawrence's mother in his formative or early years? Question number four. Name the two modernist poets whom Lawrence had met in London during his travels. Question number five. Name a few of the best works of fiction by D. H. Lawrence. Here are the references. I hope you'd go through the BA English graduate self-learning material, that is the SLM of Journal English, Block 1, Unit 6, Semester 1. Thank you, dear learners.